Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. This is the beautiful Unacademy Need PG platform. My name is Dr. Anand. I am assistant professor. <laughs> so is my voice coming to everyone? Yes or no? Hello, hi, what's up? Uh, this is a very beautiful segment. This is today's topic of choice is hematology, hematology part three. Uh, today we're going to talk about very nice topics of how to approach basically in a case of anemia in the last class we had covered very beautifully about iron deficiency oh, anemia nice in depth and approach. detail and uh, in this class we're going to talk about approach to a case of anemia and uh, it's going to be a very interactive session if my voice is audible to everyone please put a message in the comment section thank you hello kaise hai sab log there are a lot of people who are coming here good to see you did you guys miss me yes i miss you too so yes it's a beautiful platform we're going to talk about very nice topics of regarding this one approach to a case of anemia uh, this is one of the very important topic but we have to discuss about it not just i'm teaching you like that we'll talk about it one by one like what do you think right that's what so yes beautiful so hello everyone hi uh, ibza kaise ho aap how are you so on the unacademy need pg platform first of all we have this beautiful week 3 going on free test calendar as the exams is coming very very near i want you guys to give as many exams as possible as many tests as possible very beautifully all these tests are totally free we have the fmg grand test then we have this beautiful series of microbiology and i'm going to have yes for every for new people like i'm going to have two uh, what you called uh, integrated session with dr priyanka such they one of my favorite uh, uh, pathology teacher who she says like uh, am i audible visible am i audible visible everyone good morning everyone she's very good and i'm really impressed with her and uh, she's a very wonderful person also so dr priyanka such they i'm going to have a very beautiful integrated session next week and dr cheshta for dermatology so peds derma and peds patho then i'm going to cover every 19 subjects of everything peds uh, gynae peds medicine peds surgery everything i'm going to cover right so yes hi priya swaraj ibza yasin and oshama osama sheik one of my favorite junior also yes beautiful slide cardiovascular system guys we have a test we have a test on march 20 12 pm 40 questions 60 minutes cvs ka test hai bahut hi khoobsurat test banaya gaya hai please aap de and if you you have to enroll it enroll it this is for sure and they will ask you how to enroll you have to use a code the code is dr anand totally free click it use it and avail it enroll it basically exactly yasin says waiting for those sessions okay sir same here and also in the an academy we have this beautiful plus subscription where you get amazing access to my live and recorded classes you get to study on the ios laptop ipad anything you say you'll get it you'll see my face and we have something known as iconic subscription where you get the an academy platform and the prep ladder subscription all the question bank with active guidance with treasure notes live test everything you get on the iconic subscription and an academy is the most beautiful platform where we can share knowledge and encourage each other also at the same time congratulations to the amazing fmg toppers who work so hard now i want you all to be there hi savan what's up savan happy holy kab milega kitne din ho gaye milo mujhse jaldi theek hai <laughs> and also uh, if you're a newcomer we have uh, something known as special class basically a download an academy app where we have a special class feature where you we can make a lot of mcqs poll you never miss the classes because all the lectures are recorded also yes we have made the very amazing high yield mcq marathon batch very important batch and we have this high yield fmg revision batch and that's it so that's what that it was all about need pg subscription i have told you we have the plus we have the iconic and the new one introducing nowadays is is nothing but light light subscription le light rahe khush rahe basically zindagi bhagwan ki ek bahut hi mehangi gift hai use acche se khush rakhe and light subscription is there and again you have to use the code the code i have already told you that's it next now we're going to start hematology okay osama kya hal hai kaise hain sab log how's everyone doing han ji osama savan singh han ji kya hal hai kya hal hai what's up hi rids rids is a nice name yasin shubangi kaushik so how many have of you have you missed me please raise your hands if you have not missed me come come here i will i will give you a toffee okay yeah hematology before starting any amazing segment we always have a motivating quote and today's motivating quote is be yourself be yourself because everyone else is already taken be yourself because everyone else is already taken don't copy him don't copy her 
the way you want to study you study you want to study in the night study in the night you want to study for one and a half hour and take a break do that way you want to study for a stretch of four to five hours and then take a break do whatever you wish you want to do do that way i mean self love is everything and just love yourself be yourself because everyone else is already taken that's it okay today's topic of choice yes is nothing but anemia in the previous class we have spoken about iron deficiency anemia in depth and detail with beautiful beautiful pointers on iron deficiency anemia today topic is just anemia like i was uh, uh, taking a class for mbbs students in my hospital and they were not really answering well in a case of simple approach to anemia then i thought today i should take a class on anemia which is really very important haan ji exactly <laughs> shubangi kaushik says i am not a night person but i came for the class that's so sweet of you thank you god bless you with good vibes okay anemia how do you define anemia anyone okay first question so this class like i am i'm shifting or i'm drifting all my classes in a very clinical approach every single class of mine nowadays is only clinical 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 patient aaya to kya karoge if you see the patient what will you do and stuff like that so anemia so first question i have for you all is anemia is it a sign or a symptom what do you think anyone yes very good very good uh, zainab akhtar says sir it's my exams i just joined to say hello to you your classes are always fun thanks for making learning fun for us thank you zainab akhtar that's very sweet of you and uh, all my amazing good vibes are there with you in your exam uh, be happy and do exam very nicely just do just you know uh, one advice before exam just take at least 5 to 7 deep breaths and relax your mind this is one uh, advice my ofta ma'am gave gave to me in my final year mbbs exam i was really panicking i told my ma'am i'm really really very tense she's like anand relax just relax just take five deep breaths and then start the paper and i remember it really helped me and both that from till that time till today i remember that take five deep breaths before starting a big exam everything will smoothen down okay you should know exactly beautiful answer is anemia is a sign or a symptom it is a sign not a symptom it is a sign i have a pain abdomen it is a symptom i have a itching in my right side of the nose is a symptom but i have anemia i have anemia how do you know i have anemia anemia is a sign anemia is a sign okay it's not a symptom number 1 this is the first basic question examiner is going to ask you and if you say sir i think anemia is a symptom sir then he will say very good perfect answer such a oh, beautiful student you are please come after 6 months that's what he'll say to you okay so anemia is a sign number 1 how do you look for anemia in a busy opd if savan is working with me savan imagine you're sitting with me in the opd and i'm like bhai bhai iska dekhiyo anemia dekh iska anemia dekh patient ka kaise hai ke nahi if i say how do you look for anemia what is the best answer you want to give me han ji yasin tarun singa sing singing singing in the night uh, singing yeah das medical okay sachin okay very good uh, yeah tired <laughs> how do you look for anemia how do you look for anemia savan imagine you are sitting bagal bagal karo you are sitting next to me patient has come savan see see anemia anemia dekho is bacche mein so how do you look for anemia anyone anyone okay deepak has also come deepak one of my very dear juniors deepak kab aayega delhi dobara aa bhai milte hain dobara and tu aaya tha but i could meet you i'm really sorry brother so exactly the best answer see uh, how do you look for anemia there are two options either you can tell me lower palpebral conjunctiva that you can tell me but again a better better answer the better answer will be sir i will take this is a very beautiful picture very beautiful picture photographic memory yes or no yes so i will take the baby's hand and i will compare my hand with the baby hand if you want to impress the examiner if you want to get a rank 1 then this is the first thing you should tell sir that how will you look for anemia sir i will uh, i will the examiner hands we will compare the examiner will compare the patient's hand with the examiner hand but imagine if your hand also is pale then to bhagwan hi malik hai fir to us patient ka agar doctor hi kahi haath pehle hai to bas fir to baat khatam ho jati hai yahan pe okay yes exactly cold hands and feet but cbc count okay dear but how do you look for anemia okay remember dear it's not cold hands and feet shubhangi dear but that's what uh, are you understanding i will compare the patient's hand with my hand this also can we appreciate this yes or no can we see lal lal hath hai aur bada pale pale hath hai yes or no can we appreciate this <coughs> exactly savan is right savan abhi is full in a good happy mood savan says and what if you have anemia in your hands if 
<laughs> if you have any, if you Savan, if you have, तेरे को तो देख के भी लगता है नीमिया मोटा है तो मोटा, you are quite shorter, okay? So which one is Mota, quite shorter or Merismas? It is quite. It says Savan is Mota, so quite shorter, quite shorter is a fatty baby. So that's what. If you also, if examiner also has anemia, then तो we should pray to God, long life. जो ऐसा ऐसा डॉक्टर जो ऐसा पेशेंट ट्रीट करेगा भगवान जाने या दैट्स व्हाट राइट सो यू विल कंपेयर द पेशेंट हैंड्स विद द एग्जाम हैंड्स नंबर वन नंबर टू हाउ डू यू डिफाइन अनिमिया वेरी ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चन माय डियर फ्रेंड्स व्हाट डू यू थिंक स्वराज ओसामा शुभांगी सावन एंड तरुण हाउ डू यू डिफाइन अनिमिया इज डिफाइंड एज वॉट यू वॉन्ट आंसर फॉर दैट यू यू वॉन्ट टू जस्ट लुक एट मीज आई एम नॉट एबल टू रिमेंबर सर एक्चुअली अनिमिया वॉट इज आंसर येस एक्जैक्टली सो एक्जैक्टली सामा इज राइट अनिमिया इज डिफाइंड एज हिमोग्लोबिन लेवल इन द ब्लड टू स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन बिलो द मीन फॉर द एज एंड सेक्स सो नथिंग बट एच पी लेस देन माइनस टू स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन एच पी लेस देन माइनस टू स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन कैन वी कैन वी को रिलेट एंड स्टडी दिस स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन कैन यू टेल मी थ्री डेफिनेशन वेयर द स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन वर्ड हैज बीन यूज येस और नो हिमोग्लोबिन लेस देन माइनस टू स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन फॉर द रिस्पेक्टिव एज एंड सेक्स इज अनिमिया दैट्स द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डेफिनेशन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डेफिनेशन इफ यू वॉन्ट पास एनी अदर दिस स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन वेयर एल्स हैव यू यूज वेरी गुड एक्जैक्टली सो number one sam baby we have used the standard deviation what is how do you define sam everyone knows about it weight for height less than minus 3 standard deviation where else have you used standard deviation have you heard of microcephaly yes or no microcephaly is defined as head circumference less than minus 3 standard deviation and what about macrocephaly macrocephaly is defined as head circumference more than 2 standard deviation very 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 four questions we have covered for pg entrance so important anemia is defined as hemoglobin less than minus 2 standard deviation sam is defined as weight for height less than minus 3 standard deviation microcephaly is also weight for height less than minus 3 standard deviation and macrocephaly uh, uh, yeah macrocephaly is height head circumference more than 2 standard deviation and microcephaly head circumference less than minus 3 standard deviation understood yes or no has everyone understood this much yes or yes yes समझ में आ रहा नहीं आ रहा या दिमाग के ऊपर से जा रहा है अगर दिमाग के ऊपर से जा रहा है ओहो फिर तो यू शुड टेक एलमॉन्ड्स फाइव एलमॉन्ड्स इन द मॉर्निंग टेल योर मम्मा टू भिगो भिगो द एलमॉन्ड्स इन द नाइट भिगोने की इंग्लिश क्या होती है रिंस सोक सो टेल योर मॉम टू सोक फाइव एलमॉन्ड्स इन द नाइट एंड मॉर्निंग यू शुड हैव इट बिकॉज आई ऑल्सो हैव एवरी डे आई हैव टेन बिकॉज आई गो टू जिम दैट्स वॉट एग्जैक्ट समझ में आ गया ब्यूटिफुल वेरी नाइस दैट्स गो फर्दर yeah so my dear friends please can we appreciate this slide hemoglobin and hematocrit level see see hemoglobin okay hemoglobin at birth 1 to 3 days like the age wise hemoglobin and this is the normal and minus 2 standard deviation yes or no can we appreciate this beautiful slide thanks to our op guy ninth edition beautifully they have explained us so hemoglobin dikh raha hai aapko yes or no and and i don't want you guys to cram it don't cram nothing to cram just i'm showing you that that's how they have written in the book A patient comes to me with my with the pallor is there on his on his hand as I compared my hand with the patient's hand. I open the book and I say, okay, this child is twelve year old. Okay, अच्छा ठीक है twelve year old less than minus two standard deviation का बनता है eleven point five a gram per dl hemoglobin. So that is known as anemia. Hemoglobin less than minus two standard deviation for the respective age and sex. It's known as anemia. right so i'm like exactly thus we have a uh, very beautiful student who says what is the uh, head circumference of a baby sir yes dear uh, savan i can anyone help me what is the normal head circumference of a newborn or sama ko bahut acha aata hai or sama batao isse pehle ki mere tum suno mere muh se han ji what do you think dr osama sheik from argentina what do you think head circum what is the normal head circumference of a newborn can we have a quick revision exactly so osama is telling you das i think is 31 cm savan singh very good savan singh mera acha bhai hai bahut pyare meethe meethe answer de raha hai savan 33 to 35 cm the normal head circumference of a newborn is 33 to 35 cm very 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 important question see so always remember dear the the, the only only uh, you know reason why i repeat so many times because basics are very important out of 10 nine students nine students come and tell me the same picture from last 10 years that sir you taught it sir sir i remember lekin main bhul gaya 
आई फॉर गॉट आई फॉर गॉट आई फॉर गॉट आई फॉर गॉट आई रेड इट आई रिवाइज इट आई रिमेंबर विच वो मुझे वो पेज नंबर भी याद है सर वो क्वेश्चन कहाँ लिखा हुआ था आई रिमेंबर द पेज नंबर ऑल्सो सर आई रिमेंबर दिस साइड राइट साइड आई रोड द आंसर बट विच ऑप्शन वॉज राइट आई फॉर गॉट सर एंड दैट ऑल्सो आई डिड मिस्टेक सो आउट ऑफ टेन नाइन स्टूडेंट्स एल मी द सेम प्रॉब्लम दैट आई रेड इड आई रिवाइज इट बट आई स्टिल फॉर गॉट इन द एग्जाम एंड आई डोंट वॉन्ट यू टू कमिट दैट मिस्टेक बिकॉज इट इज इट इज मेंटली टॉर्चरस वेन यू रीड रिवाइज एंड फॉर get in the exam it's mentally devastating so never have, like you know uh, like uh, always have the best intention that to revise revise and revise yes so the normal head circumference of a newborn is 33 to 35 cm as everyone knows and also at the same time what is the increment of head circumference you know that right the 0 to 3 months kaha likhu main 0 to 3 months 3 months to 6 months and 6 months to 12 months yes or no the beginning 3 months of life head circumference increases by 2 cm per month the next 3 months of life it increases by 1 cm per month and next 6 months of life it increases by 0.5 cm per month is everyone understanding dear yes or no osama rijju yes shubhangi beautiful very good i assume you understand this much bahut sare bacche aaj aaye hain kisi ko sona nahi hai raat ke 11:00 baj gaye hain movie dekho jao netflix dekho wo acha wo dekha have you seen that wo ye kali kali aankh hai it's so awesome series you must watch it it's very nice okay very good perfect perfect answer very beautifully people are answering moti ki tarah aap logo ne answer kiya hai iska matlab hai ki aapne moti ki tarah padha hai aur agar nahi answer karte to dekhna maine kya karna tha fir so that's it so i'll let's revise again what is anemia everyone knows about it hp less than minus 2 standard deviation is known as anemia number 1 and very importantly this also same we have the who cut off we have the who cut off of hemoglobin basically so this also roughly you can see very on a rough scale 5 to 11 or 12 to 13 years roughly it's the hp less than 11.5 on a very rough scale on a very busy opd guys if you don't have uh, time to open the book and all that at least remember 5 saal se leke 13 saal tak roughly from 5 years to 13 years even this also hp less than 11 or 11.5 cut off almost like a who cut off for anemia first thing very importantly next how do you approach a case of anemia very good question how do you approach a case of anemia doctor my baby <laughs> oscar aage se thand lag uh, ac hai na andar so how do you approach a case of anemia what do you think dear uh, you saw paler 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 okay then how do you approach do you want to get some investigation done anyone what do you think yes sachin very good sachin swaraj shubhangi yasin deepak एग्जैक्टली सावन कह रहा है सी बी सी कराओ सी तेरा कराता हूँ तू कल मिल मेरे को तेरा पहले मैंने कराना है सी बी सी विद विडाल विद मॉन्टुक्स यहाँ लगेगी अंट्रा डर में तब दर्द होता है बढ़िया वाला वेरी गुड yes so history do you want to take history do you want to take the history of a child can we like you know again please guys open your brains a newborn a just a newborn baby having anemia a 6 month old baby having anemia and a 6 year child a baby having anemia can we can we uh, use our uh, 250 grams brains that uh, do does our differential diagnosis differs here and there my dear what do you think are you getting with newborn baby having anemia the differentials are different 6 months old baby having anemia that's different differentials and six year baby having anemia it's beautifully entirely different differential diagnosis so can we open our brains tiny 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 brains chotu sala brain ko thoda sa bada karo very good nice exactly <laughs> okay uh, das medical says i'm watching your lecture from philippines it's here it's 1:45 am so you are watching my lecture at 1:45 am bro i mean that's commendable god bless you god bless you thank you so much lots of love from my side good vibes good vibes only okay yes please can we appreciate can we answer this question what is the important history in a newborn which can lead to anemia very classy question abhi 23 and 24th march we have exams for final year students i'll be the examiner then i will properly ask this question to the final year mbbs students aur jis tarah jawab nahi diya you know the trick right yes so if you are the student and i am the examiner what do you think bro if i ask you uh, anemia ka case hai and any important history in a newborn which can lead to anemia humne pura neonatology moti ki tarah padha hai we have understood the whole neonatology do we have any neonatal conditions exactly so beautiful rijjo has a very beautiful answer rijjo says early cord clamping proud of you bravo bravo aise karo aise se karte na bravo me ha early cord clamping beautiful answer have you heard of delayed cord clamping which is more preferable can anyone help me out should i do delayed umbilical cord clamping or should i wait for 60 second like or should i do early cord clamping or delayed cord clamping and why 
what are the benefit why should i do it is it is it really uh, beneficial for the baby to uh, delay the cord clamp if yes then yeah exactly yeah since says ke delayed is better very good yes why delayed is better no 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 i want to clamp right now within 10 seconds i don't want to delay so why saavn teri umbilical cord mein delayed clamp clamp karu kyun kyun karu why should i delay your why should i delay clamp your umbilical cord <laughs> my english is so funny why should i yeah why should i the umbilical cord clamping why it should be delayed yeah, this is a better english han ji exactly so yeah so the benefits of delayed cord clamping are like the whole theory process is that more and more blood more and more blood i want uh, from the placenta to reach the baby right there is a lot of blood in the umbilical cord so i want more many too much of like uh, good amount of blood i want to go from the placenta to the umbilical cord to the baby so what are the benefits bro number 1 benefits are anemia the chances of anemia Anemia will be less. Number two benefits are the chances of intraventricular hemorrhage will be lesser. Number three very important sir chances of blood transfusion. Of course more blood will go then the chances of transfusing blood to the newborn will be less. And anemia the one of the long term one, like one is short term one is long term. The short term benefit is that I IVH chances will be less. blood transfusions chances will be less and even necro some book says necrotizing enterocolitis chances also will be less in the newborn this is the short term benefits the very important long term benefits with 2 to 6 months of life the anemia the chances of anemia will also be less so very beautiful answer my question was any important history in a newborn which can lead to anemia yes rijo proud of you very 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 good you know you use actually you use your brains so early cord clamping could lead to anemia yes second important have you heard of cephal hematoma exactly very good osama is right proper blood reach to newborn so delayed cord clamping very beautiful have you heard of cephal hematoma cephal hematoma can lead to anemia is this line true or is this line false can cephal hematoma lead to anemia or caput succedaneum leads to anemia it's like a revision class bro i am teaching you the new new i'm teaching i'm showing you a different angle of the teaching i'm showing you a different perspective of really how a patient will come and how your theoretical knowledge will be actually implied on your clinical knowledge okay so uh, my question was we are studying anemia a newborn having anemia a newborn hb is only 4 what do you think why number 1 sir early cord clamping number 2 fal hematoma very beautiful so giri priya priyanka savan rijo tarun pragya and kusuma paripina kusuma paripina okay cute name so uh, yeah yeah you are right you are right so cephal hematoma can it lead to anemia han ji sir def undoubtedly hematoma will lead to anemia right and cephal hematoma is because of what is it because of prolonged labor anyone can anyone help me i am a neat pg student i don't remember if i have a prolonged labor will i lead to cephal hematoma or will my head lead to caput succedaneum what do you think beautiful beautiful hmm ओके दीपक इज राइट रूटीन ओपीडी में कॉर्ड क्लैंपिंग की एग्जैक्ट हिस्ट्री नहीं मिलती पता है मुझे नहीं मिलती मुझे पता है नहीं मिलती पर पता तो होना चाहिए ना एक जनरल आइडिया तो ब्रो हमें होना चाहिए ना कि ये भी एक हो सकता है है ना ये भी पता तो होना चाहिए डियर एग्जैक्टली सो द प्रोलॉन्ग लेबर इफ द पेशेंट इज हैविंग यू विल थिंक ऑफ कैपुड सक्सीडेनियम एंड इफ देर इज अ ट्रोमैटिक डिलीवरी इज देर इज अ इंस्ट्रूमेंटल डिलीवरी और देर इज अ फोर्स एफ डिलीवरी देन इट कैन लीड टू सेफेल हेमेटोमा सो हेमेटोमा मीन्स मोर हिमोलाइसिस हिमोलाइसिस मीन्स हिमोग्लोबिन ब्रेकडाउन एज एवरी everyone knows hemoglobin gets break down into heme bilirubin and bilirubin so pila 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 too much of bilirubin right and hemoglobin will break down hemolysis the differential diagnosis of newborn having anemia are number 1 early cord clamping number 2 cephal hematoma number 3 yes exactly any other causes yes beautiful very chubangi so right have you heard of rh incompatibility have you heard of abu incompatibility yes or no are you understanding yes or no the more and more hemolysis the more and more hemoglobin breakdown the more and more more and more baby can get anemia right so all those causes do you remember guys do you have we started jaundice chapter do you remember chubangi yaad hai ki nahi yaad hai the whatever the causes of neonatal jaundice are there at least we can appreciate that they those all causes can cause anemia also because hemophilia hematoma is there there is hemolysis also so hemoglobin breaking down causing to anemia and too much of break, breaking down of hemoglobin can leads to increased bilirubin levels so the 
कॉजेज आर सिफ एल हेमेटोमा आर एच इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी ए बी ओ इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी येस और नो एम आई मेकिंग सेंस टू यू येस और नो येस वेरी गुड एंड वट आर द अदर कॉजेज और कोई कॉज रह क्या एनी वन मैं आगे नहीं बताऊंगा आई विल नॉट टेल आई यू ओनली टेल मी आई विल नॉट टेल यू वट आर द अदर कॉजेज ऑफ बेबी हैविंग जॉन्डिस इफ यू कैन टेल मी बेबी हैविंग जॉन्डिस दैट ऑटोमेटिकली प्रूव दैट बेबी विल हैव अनिमी ऑल्सो ब्लीडिंग टू जॉन्डिस सो वट यू थिंक एनी वन वेरी गुड सो वी हैव सम स्टूडेंट ही सेज एरिथ्रोप्लास्टोसिस फिटेलिस येस हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ एनजाइमोपैथीज एंड हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ मेम्बरिनोपैथीज येस और नो आई टोल्ड यू माई एच ओ डी सेज कॉमन थिंग्स आर कॉमन एंड रेयर थिंग्स आर रेयर सो कॉमन आर वन अ बेबी हैविंग अनिमिया नथिंग बट अर्ली कॉड क्लैम्पिंग सिफेल हेमेटोमा आर एच इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी ए बी ओ इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी एनजाइमोपैथीज एंड मेम्बरिनोपैथीज विच एनजाइमोपैथी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट येस द एनजाइमोपैथीज विच इज इंपॉर्टेंट इज जी सिक्स पी डी एनजाइम डेफिशियंसी इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड विच मेम्बरिनोपैथीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट सेम बहुत सारी हैं जो मर्जी पूछ लो हेरीडिट्री स्फीरोसाइटोसिस हेरीडिट्री एलिप्टोसाइटोसिस हेरीडिट्री पिकनोसाइटोसिस हैव वी हर्ड दिस नेम और एम आई स्पीकिंग फ्रेंच और स्पेनिश Oh, ho! It's English. Okay, you have read about great. So, hereditary spherocytosis, elliptocytosis, and picno picno cytosis. These all are the membranopathies. Are you understanding? So, any membrane problem is there. So that naturally RBC will fall, will break down very early. So more hemolysis, more hemoglobin breakdown, and more anemia. Yes or no? Exactly. Sickle cell anemia, thalassemia. Right. Very good. Yeah. So one half we have finished. We have finished the causes. of anemia in a newborn and we have finished the pg questions also which they can ask let's revise again today's topic of choice was anemia as everyone knows anemia is a sign not a symptom you will see the anemia in the sign, in the patient patient will not jump and coming doctor doctor i have anemia no so you will see the anemia is a sign number 1 most importantly how do you see i have already told you you will compare the patient's hand and also how do you define hemoglobin less than minus 2 standard deviation it's a good definition pg question star mark it's a question then also we covered how to approach depends on the history sir a newborn baby having anemia is entirely a different story a uh, 6 months old baby having anemia is entirely a different story and a child 5 year old 10 year old anemia entirely a different story newborn baby having anemia sir you told about early cord clamping cephal hematoma rh incompatibility abo incompatibility and zymopathies like g6pd and membranopathies like spherocytosis pycnocytosis elliptocytosis exactly beautiful very beautiful classy answers you have given very smart now next lot of question the next lot of question is important causes of anemia in a child a 6 month old baby if i talk about a 6 month old baby having anemia which is the most commonest cause like again i am the examiner han ji dr savan okay finally here <coughs> okay fine So, Doctor Savan, uh, if a six-month-old child comes to you with anemia, Doctor Savan, then how do you approach this case, Doctor Savan? Six-month-old, what do you think? Six months specifically, if I mention Doctor Savan, that six-month-old baby having anemia, will you think of cephal hematoma? Will you think of RH incompatibility? Then Savan will say, uh, uh, no, uh, cephal. Then you ask, what are you going to do? You like? Then you should say, Savan should say, no, sir. Cephal hematoma, RH, ABO, all those early cord clamping, all those drama was there for the newborn period, sir. Six month old baby, anyone? Exactly. Very good. So six month old baby during weaning time. Are you understanding? Yes or no? What is weaning? What is weaning or what is complementary feeding? Yes or no? Complementary feeding is uh, you know that right? The beginning six months of life we give only and only breast feeding. After six months of life, you madam you will breast feed your child, but along with your breast feed you will give other. home foods also doctor doctor what should i give madam you can give you can boil potato and you can give a smash potato madam you can give dalia that's good madam you can give a porridge is also is nice but madam one week one item don't start every day new new item patient baby will you know uh, go will have diarrhea okay so one week one item exactly beautiful very good very good so weaning time may the the most important cause of anemia see these are not exam question which is the most important cause of anemia at the weaning time at Six months, specifically six months time, where I'm switching the baby to a food products. Their iron deficiency anemia is very, very, very common. And the beautifully answers have given by Shubhangi Kaushik. So we have Kumar Mandal. Very good. Yes, exactly. Very good. So uh, Sambar says breastfeeding. Say shift. करके अदर घर के खाने खिलाने को weaning कहते हैं. Beautiful. 
beautiful answer 10 out of 10 okay so understood right guys have you and have you conclude some topics like we are studying anemia a newborn having anemia full list i have with me right now a child see i'm teaching you the clinical stuff if you're not busy already you become empty pediatricians later first of all give me party and i stay in delhi and uh, secondly uh -huh. So secondly, uh, child having six month old baby having pallor like full paleness, iron deficiency anemia is very common. Take care. And six months to two years. Again, PG question, which is the most commonest age group for iron deficiency anemia? Six months to two years. Six months to two years is the most commonest uh, age group for iron deficiency anemia. Good. Next, exactly. Yeah, very good. Very good. What is CMPA? Six month old. Now, this is a very crucial point. Other than iron, like uh, what are the causes of anemia in a six month old child? Number one, sir, iron deficiency is anemia is very common. Why? Because her weaning is there. No, so baby will not able to talk. Sometimes the baby doesn't tolerate the good food and maybe mother is not able to give the good food or there is a case of CMPA. What is CMPA exactly? Very good. Cow milk protein allergy very 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 important point how will the patient present dr savan one very classical mcq pg question how will the patient presents to you of cow milk protein allergy how will you think basically which is the important symptom the mother will say and what will you do who will tell me anvi shashubhangi osama rijo suraj sambarth exporting ashutosh and savan singh kusuma the best answer is the baby will have anyone <laughs> Deepak says crying nobody crying Roega to to Roega hi Roega wo to bina baat ki bhi rota hai newborn bhi rota hai sab rote hain the best answer is Swaraj says diarrhea but the best answer has been given by our my one of my very Golu Molu Motu uh, junior Dr. Savan bloody diarrhea very 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 important when i am allergic i am allergic to cow's milk okay so bloody diarrhea so important okay and how do you investigate it give me a challenge test what is this challenge test in general you stop the cow's milk for 24 to 48 hours my bloody diarrhea will go off so it's a very clear clear answer that you were having cow milk protein allergy bloody diarrhea is important dear it's exam question remember symptom of cmp is bloody diarrhea colicky pain yes that's that's true why do why cow's milk is not preferred in a newborn child i think everyone knows about it right but how, why cow's milk is not preferred because cow's milk has c c c c c can anyone tell me what is this five c's kya hai yes c ye dekhne ke liye dekhte rahiye aaj ka dhara bhai kyunki saas gayi bahut hi no so tell me the answer exactly so the cow's milk causes constipation and colicky pain because it is rich in casein and it causes cow milk protein allergy these are the five c's has everyone understood yes or no exactly cow's milk causes gai ka dooth acha hota hai bura hota hai normally cow's milk causes constipation so cow's milk causes constipation colicky pain and most importantly it is rich in casein where the breast milk is rich in whey protein breast milk is rich in whey protein it is easily digestible whereas cow's milk it is rich in casein casein and it is uh, not digestible it causes colicky pain so cow's milk causes constipation and colicky pain it is rich in casein and leading to cow milk protein allergy has everyone understood please put a like button or a heart could be a golden heart and could be a black heart anyone yes samajh mein aaya itna ke nahi aaya uske aage hi badhenge but hum to aise baithe theek hai gana suna gana sab gaate hain sab hi madhosh hain hum tum kyun khamosh hain theek hai very good perfect let's move further next question again so what are we studying my dear friends can we open our brains anemia anemia always when you read a topic sit inside that topic you are lord buddha anemia okay anemia in a newborn full list time having anemia okay anemia in a six months old child okay six months okay uh yeah iron deficiency anemia cow milk protein allergy leading to anemia very importantly anemia in a child in a four year old five year old child if i say the child is pure vegetarian veggie who is pure vegetarian please raise your hand anyone vegetarian my condolences anyone vegetarian i love chicken Hmm. Okay. So yes, a child on pure vegetarian and what do you call on goat milk? Who's like goat milk? Goat. Bakri ka na. Bakri ka dooth koon pita hai? Abhi sabki message aenge. Dengu ke time me maine bakri ka dooth piya tha. Kisne piya tha? Batao. Bandi ka naam batao. Anyone? Acha. Tumne piya tha? Swaraj ne bakri ka dooth piya tha. Cute. Ajani Swaraj saying I'm vegetarian. Okay, that's nice. So who all is vegetarian? Everyone is vegetarian here. 
ओके प्योर डॉक्टर गिरी से प्योर नॉन वेजिटेरियन गुड ओके विल गो फॉर बूफे नाइस बूफे वेजिटेरियन एनी वेजिटेरियन वॉन्ट्स गो टू बूफे एनी वन प्लीज रेज योर हैंड्स यू विल वेस्ट मनी बिग टाइम नो नो वी आर नॉट टेकिंग ओके शुभांगी से आई एम अ वेगन अच्छा वेगन क्या होता है तो ये आई ऑलवेज गेट कन्फ्यूज वॉट इज वेगन एंड वॉट इज वेजिटेरियन someone says if you can i can i can have egg but i don't have chicken is that is vegan so deepak what do you think anvesha very beautiful very nice perfect answer right so if a child is on is a pure vegetarian what i should rule out you should rule out megaloblastic anemia megaloblastic anemia basically is seen in patients who are not taking uh, you know animal and uh, not animal but animal products so animal products basically you have vitamin b12 very less vegetarian food you have where you get vitamin b12 uh, the milk products basically you get uh, animal products milk you get uh, what you called uh, uh, vitamin b12 yes exactly exactly beautiful अच्छा डॉक्टर गिरी सेज नो मिल्क प्रोडक्ट इज वेगन डू यू डोंट सो हु इज शुभांगी राइट शुभांगी यू यू आर अ डायबिटिक राइट यू टोल्ड मी यू टेक इंसुलिन नो सो यू डोंट टेक मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स ऑल्सो डियर हाउ डू यू लाइक सर्वाइव देन लाइक वॉट डू यू ईट आई लव मिल्क सो एनी वन ओके ओके ज्योति सेज ज्योति चौरसिया मैंने आज तक एक भी एग नहीं खाया अच्छा तुम इकट्ठे दो खाती हो तभी तुमने आज तक एक भी एग नहीं खाया तुमने लिखा है ना मैंने आज तक एक भी एग नहीं खाया खाती हूँ तो दो या चार इकट्ठे ही खाती हूँ डिड यू मीन दैट <laughs> okay great so important causes of anemia in child is megaloblastic anemia exactly now coming to the investigation part so now we have wonderfully understood anemia in a newborn we have a perfect list anemia in a 6 month old child uh, sir iron deficiency anemia sir uh, cow milk protein allergy sir anemia in a big child a uh, vegetarian one sir megaloblastic anemia so we have got a very beautiful picture of lot of anemias right so which is the first investigation exactly okay deepak says uh, uh, i am not eating even garlic and onion doctor very good very good nice i am impressed then once we meet where are we going you please tell me a good restaurant in delhi who doesn't serve onions and garlic and they make hum dhoondenge dhoondenge tumhare dhoondenge hum exactly mm-hmm. okay uh, shubhangi says i take uh, insulin four times i survive on the love of animals that's very true dear i'm 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 with you my positive vibes are with you exactly mm. ज्योति सेस मैं आपकी सारी क्लासेस वॉच करती हूँ बट लाइव नहीं ले पाती सो so, लाइव आज लिया आपने कैसा लगा आपको क्या आप चक्कर खाए गिर गए या आपको लगा कि ओ माय गॉड क्या क्लास है ओके ग्रेट एग्जैक्टली सो सावन देखो सावन के कमेंट्स को अलग अलग तो पैन के कमेंट्स और सावन के कमेंट्स सावन के कह रहे हैं एक्सपोर्टिन यू विल हैव सल्फर डेफिशिएंसी बस ये पीएचडी सावन पीएच तू तो पीएचडी करके रहेगा भैया तू तो पक्का पीएचडी करेगा सल्फर डेफिशिएंसी मैंने आज तक पेशेंट नहीं देखा सावन ने देखा है सावन ने देखा है मुझे बताया है इसने सो गाइस कैन वी हैव द आंसर प्लीज वेरी नाइस सो यस व्हिच इज द फर्स्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशन शुड वी गेट इट डन इन अ केस ऑफ एनीमिया वेरी ब्यूटीफुल टोल्ड बाय स्वराज सुमन एंड ज्योति एंड दिस वन वेरी नाइस सो सर आई विल गेट अ CBC done. Okay, चलो जी हो गया CBC. Now need PG question number ten. लो जी. This is the report. Please explain the report. Anyone? So forty minutes are over. Ten more minutes. Then this class is over. हाँ जी बताओ. ये this is the need PG question. The need PG question is explain the report shown in the image. If you can't explain the report, then gone. You are gone. हाँ जी. What is the answer? Who will tell me? Very good. Very good. But what is the first thing I should see? Uh, Priyanka Mishra, <laughs> right is Priyanka Mishra, roll number forty. My roll number was two. My name is Anand. No, I started with A. That's why. So, a call Anand bhi tha mere batch mein. So that fellow was double A Anand like that. I was like, oh my god, I'm jealous of you. I am. I was Anand. So I became roll number second. Very good, Hanji. Very yes, yes, yes. Uh, Swaraj is right. The first thing to look in a picture is nothing but Hb hemoglobin. Now, what is the hemoglobin here? Nine point seven, right? So, what is this patient having? Anemia. Question number one. What is the first thing you see in a CBC report? The answer is hemoglobin. Question number two. Now, after the hemoglobin, dear, which is the second important investigation or second important component you would like to see here? Anyone? Savan Singh. Acha. Very good. Very good. समझ में आ रहा है? Exactly. Yeah. So, sir, I saw this baby is having anemia. I would like to know. Do you want to know which type of anemia? Yes or no? Do you want to know is he having microcytic hypochromic anemia? or you want to know he is having macrocytic hypochromic anemia yes or no maybe the patient is having a dimorphic anemia am i making sense to you yes or 
yes yes so there are various types of anemia right microcytic hypochromic macrocytic hypochromic normocytic normochromic or dimorphic anemia right exactly so is isme kya dikhta hai sir mcv sir mcv is less what is mcv mean corpuscular volume then uske baad kya dekhte hain mch that is mean corpuscular hemoglobin right so mcv is 69 and mch is 22 so i can appreciate sir i can appreciate sir this is a case of microcytic hypochromic anemia osama kahan pe osama ka message nahi aa raha osama bro samajh mein aa raha tere ko reply kyu nahi kar rahe neend aa gayi so gaye aise meri ek junior kehti thi sir main jab main jab raat ko mujhe when i used to feel sleepy in the night no ek pani ka bucket leke rakhti thi main apna pura sir pani mein dalti thi aur aise karke fir baith ke padhti thi karke aise very sweet junior her name is sangeeta she was my jr in in my previous hospital like she we are still very good friends and she is a topper so she, and she वेरी गुड इन स्टडीज तो लाइक सर रात को नींद आती थी मेरे को तो मैं बस पानी ऐसे डाल के ऐसे बैठ जाती थी फिर पढ़ते रहते करके मैंने कहा तुम्हारी दाँत देनी पड़ेगी तुम्हारे पैर किधर है exactly yes so that's right perfect okay ha so uh, it's a, this baby is having microcytic hypochromic anemia a clear cut picture very beautiful okay and i think everyone knows about it you know uh, uh, what do you call differential diagnosis of microcytic hypochromic anemia i think everyone knows we have discussed in the previous class <laughs> exactly so uh, the mnemonic is sheetal the mnemonic mnemonic is sheetal everyone knows who is sheetal sheetal is over here sheetal meri ek didi thi mere usme uh, school mein padhta tha na meri didi thi unka naam tha sheetal mere neighbor mein rehti thi matlab my best friend अंकिता अंकिता ढल उनकी बड़ी बहन का नाम था शीतल मुझे भी याद है सो डिफरेंशियल डायग्नोसिस ऑफ माइक्रोसाइटिक अनिमिया आर एवरीवन नोज अबाउट इट शीतल एस फॉर सिट्रोप्लास्टिक अनिमिया ऑफ कोर्स यस आई फॉर आयरन डेफिशिएंसी अनिमिया टी फॉर थैलेसीमिया एंड ए फॉर अनिमिया ऑफ chronic disease yes very good anemia of chronic disease and very importantly after that we have lead poisoning guys lead poisoning hai na sabko yaad hai nahi yaad hai exactly das medical says can you explain about diamond black for anemia yes bro in the next class i have already made a specific dedicated ppt on diamond black for anemia and fanconi anemia and fanconi syndrome wo next class mein i'll teach you this class we're going to talk about little little basics only okay so that you should know perfect everyone knows about it i assume sabko aata hai exactly. एक्जैक्टली exactly. ठीक है ओके okay, ज्योतिष ये कहानियां पहले बता चुके हैं ओके दैट्स नाइस दोबारा सुना आपने कैसा लगा आपको अच्छा लगा या बुरा लगा ठीक है डन सो दीज आर द पॉइंट्स ऑफ दिस वन एंड एवरीवन नोज अबाउट इट आई थिंक और और डू यू वांट टू डिस्कस अबाउट इट तो सामा कहां पे है और सामा बता मुझे हां जी हाउ डू यू डिफरेंशिएट आई थिंक एवरीवन नोज अबाउट इट इफ आई हैव अ सेपरेट स्लाइड आई थिंक आई वांट टू चेक बिकॉज़ समटाइम्स यू से हां मेरे को आता है मेरे को आता है जब एमसीक्यू पूछो तो गुल ये कहाँ था पढ़ा था ऐसे होते हो सो गाइज कैन बी अप्रिशिएट हाउ डू यू डिफ्रेंशिएट आयरन डेफिशिएंसी अनिमिया फ्रॉम थैलेसीमिया एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली फ्रॉम अनिमिया ऑफ क्रॉनिक डिजीज विच पैरामीटर इंक्रीजेज वेयर एंड विच पैरामीटर डिक्रीजेज वेयर आई थिंक एवरी वन नोज अबाउट इट एग्जैक्टली Yeah. So, what happens to serum ferritin levels? What happened to serum ferritin levels in a case of iron deficiency anemia? Exactly, serum ferritin levels if naturally will decrease. And what about total iron binding capacity? Yes, very beautiful slide. Yes, exactly. You can say that. Perfect. The serum ferritin level in a case of iron deficiency anemia will decrease. Even serum iron also in a case of iron deficiency anemia will decrease. And what about total iron binding capacity? Exactly. The total iron binding capacity increases. It's a compensatory mechanism. When serum iron decreases, the total iron binding capacity increases. What happens in thalassemia in such cases? Roughly, they are normal. Like they are not really affected. Normal to low something like that in a case of uh, what you called uh, thalassemia. but now the special part pg question was regarding anemia of chronic disease anemia of chronic chronic disease i i have i have osteomyelitis okay i have chronic tuberculosis i have tb spine right so in a case of osteomyelitis or i have a chronic illness which is the inflammatory marker which is the inflammatory marker of chronic disease anyone which is the inflammatory marker of anemia of chronic disease who will tell me the inflammatory marker of uh, uh, what you call uh, anemia of chronic disease is serum ferritin serum ferritin very it is the pg question serum ferritin is the inflammatory marker of anemia of chronic any chronic illness the inflammatory marker is serum ferritin so serum ferritin increases 
in a case of anemia of chronic disease and naturally when serum ferritin increases compensatory mechanism the total iron binding capacity will decrease so this is the point this is the point with this was the exam question which in general we need to understand right and how do you differentiate iron deficiency anemia from thalassemia already someone has to told about some index what is that index we have nothing but menzer index right very good we have something known as menzer index in the yesterday class i remember we were just discussing about it menzer and a very beautiful thanks to pancake pancake has told very important points also so menzer m n r right just take m n r so what was it that how what is the formula for menzer index dash by dash kon batayega anyone exactly so yeah mcv upon rbc yes or no yes menzer index so very importantly yes menzer index is exactly we need why do we calculate menzer index anyone yes to differentiate iron deficiency anemia from thalassemia we use menzer index is nothing but mcv upon rbc very good and uh, uh, what is the cut off guys less than 13 if the menzer index is less than 13 that means the patient is having thalassemia and if the if a menzer index is more than 13 the patient is having iron deficiency anemia so how How will I remember, sir? Sir, I always forget this, sir. Can you just tell me some smart way to understand it? So, thalassemia, thalassemia. थैलेसीमिया राइट सो थैलेसीमिया में क्या आ रहा है द वर्ड कमिंग लेस लेस सो लेस लेस देन थर्टीन पैनकेक टोल्ड मी येस्टर दिस इन द क्लास ओनली शी टोल्ड टू एवरी वन ऑफ अस वेरी ब्यूटीफुल एंड शी टोल्ड मी दैट सम अदर फैकल्टी टोल्ड हर सो इट्स अमेजिंग टू शेयर नॉलेज सो थैलेसीमिया थैलेसीमिया लेस द लेस वर्ड इज कमिंग नो सो मेंजर इंडेक्स इज लेस देन इफ द मेंजर इंडेक्स इज लेस देन थर्टीन द पेशेंट इज हैविंग थैलेसीमिया इफ इट इज मोर देन थर्टीन द पेशेंट इज हैविंग आयरन डेफिशियंसी एनीमिया अंडरस्टूड ये ठीक है Yes, the, uh, yeah. Uh, Sambhat Kumar Mandal says thalassemia may less word hai, isliye less. Perfect. Okay, let's move further. Yes, normal values. Everyone knows about it. What is the unit? Yahan pe sir, I'm going to ask sir, Doctor Savan, sir, its unit. Tell me, sir, what is the unit? Its unit. Please tell me. The options are okay, picogram, and the option is percentage. Anyone? Picogram or percentage? What is the unit of mean corpuscular volume? What will you answer, ladies and gentlemen? Please answer in the comment section. Exactly, Swaraj. Hmm, exactly. T for T. हम्म आंसर बड़े अच्छे देते सब लोग वेरी गुड वेरी गुड द मीन कॉपोस्कर वॉल्यूम नीदर इट इज पिकोग्राम नोर इट इज परसेंटेज इट इज फेमटो लीटर फेमटो लीटर मेरा मन नहीं किया सही ऑप्शन डालने का मेरी मर्जी तो एमसीवी द नॉर्मल एमसीवी इज एटी टू हंड्रेड फेमटो लीटर The normal mean corpuscular hemoglobin is three plus minus three picogram, and normal mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration thirty plus minus three percentage. Thirty plus minus three percentage. Okay, are you understanding? Yes or no? Wait, my laptop is here. Ah, perfect. Very good. Very good. Okay. So these were the three important points we need to understand. Yes, perfect. Yes, and coming to later. Yeah, now this is important. So it's a case of what we call iron deficiency. Like in a general case of anemia, is reticulocyte count important? Is retic count important or not? और होता क्या है रेटिक काउंट मेरे को पता ही नहीं क्या होता है आई डोंट रिमेंबर एनी वन वट इज अमल वट इज रेटिक काउंट वट इज रेटिकुलर साइड बेसिकली एक्जैक्टली वेरी ब्यूटिफुल इट एक्सप्लेन सो फाइव मोर मिनट एंड दिस क्लास इज ओवर Perfect. Retic count. What is reticulocyte? Is it uh, what is reticulocyte? Exactly. Reticulocyte. Most importantly, is what is nothing but it is like kind of a precursor of RBC. Before the mature erythrocyte, we have a stage known as reticulocyte. Reticulocyte. Okay. Exactly. So yes, they are the precursor. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. This is so nice. You guys already know this. Savan says they are precursor of RBCs. Very true. They are precursor of RBCs. And uh, Osama. Exactly, exactly. They are precursor of R B C S. Exactly, and they are devoid of nucleus. Heman says, "Sir, do you share PDF? No, dear, we don't share PDF on the An Academy app. Once you take classes, there is an option to download that notes, basically, which I teach, and that is a PDF. We can take it there, but we have to watch the lecture. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah, what is sir? What is it? 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 Number two, they are they are devoid of nucleus. And number three, when when my reticulocyte count will increase? Whenever I'm having some emergency, yes or no? Reticulocyte releases early in a case of requirement. 
do you agree with me yes or no which requirement sir which requirement are you telling sir if i'm bleeding i got a road traffic accident and if i'm hemorrhaging i am bleeding naturally if i'm bleeding too much what will happen if i'm bleeding too much my blood loss will happen yes or no and my body need red blood cells are but i don't have time to make the mature erythrocyte so my body will release fast fast reticulocyte ke bhai this patient is bleeding and so the body says the reticulocyte count says that we will release as a okay because anand need us because uh, if we become erythrocyte and then give you that time to anand will be dead only so we will it's a premature it's a precursor of rbc require in the emergency conditions right exactly come yeah very beautiful yeah now please tell me yeah it's a compensatory mechanism very good osama shake very good so red high retic count pg entrance question number nine where do you see high retic count retic count kiss me barta hai where do you see high retic count in which cases who will tell me exactly very good so where do you see exactly exactly so high retic count number one of course when i'm hemolysis hemorrhaging yes or no number one the causes of uh, high retic count are naturally when too much of hemolysis too much of hemolysis too much of hemoglobin breakdown naturally i need no i need more rbcs now the examples of a high retic count are autoimmune hemolytic anemias or any membranopathies do you agree with me spherocytosis pycnocytosis leptocytosis anything which is damaging rbc very very fast but yeah I need them. I need what? I need the क्या बोलते हैं उसको reticulocyte naturally. What are the other causes? Sir? Hemorrhagic naturally, hemolysis, hemorrhage, any sepsis. Yeah, this is a good one. Sepsis also, neonatal sepsis, any sepsis naturally there will be high retic count. There will be high retic count. Yeah. So hemorrhage, hemolysis, hemorrhage and sepsis there will be high retic count. What about low retic count? This one who will tell me? Exactly. Very good, bro. आयशा क्या सावन कह रहे आयशा आयशा क्या होता है अच्छा आइया और दैट इट इज ए आई एच ए और तो इम्यून हीमोलाइटिक रिमिया वाह क्या शॉर्ट फॉर्म्स हैं तुम बेटा कल मिलो तुम्हारा एक बनाऊंगा शॉर्ट फॉर्म में अच्छा सा हाँ जी वेरी गुड वॉट आर द कॉजेज ऑफ लो रेटिकुलोसाइट काउंट रेटिकुलोसाइट ही नहीं बन रहे देर इज अ लो रेटिक काउंट गाइज वॉट डू यू थिंक एग्जैक्टली वेरी ब्यूटिफुल बोन मेरो फेलियर यू कैन से दैट कंजीनाइटल अनिमियाज ए प्लास्टिक अनिमियाज any pure red cell aplasia yes or no or any in big infections like parvovirus b19 infection do you agree with me yes or no yes very important this is a very important part so parvovirus b19 infection you know pure red cell aplasia very importantly yes and what else yeah and we have a parvovirus b19 infection so these all things these all are the causes very importantly where you have the low retic count you have the low retic count yeah beautiful answer and bone marrow failure as savan very nicely telling bone marrow failure any storage disorder very important exam question okay where do you see low retic count where you see high retic count the causes of high retic count are hemolysis hemorrhage and sepsis the causes of low retic means i my body is not making reticulocyte why sir i have aplastic anemia sir i'm rough, suffering from pure red cell aplasia or a big parvovirus b19 infection bone marrow failure or storage disorder very good very 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 good osama sambarth people who are Answering has a very high chance. Very beautiful, you guys are answering. रात के बारह बजे भी अगर आपको इतना दिमाग चल रहा है, you are on the right track. Next question. And also uh, the important cause for low retic count is transient erythroblastopenia of infancy. Little high five word. Transient erythroblastopenia of infancy. Next question. Yeah. So so now we come into the end of the slides. Approach to anemia. I got a CBC done. I got a retic count done. I got iron studies done naturally, you know, because uh, I need to rule out uh, this one iron deficiency anemia from thalassemia from anemia chronic disease and peripheral smear also I got it and peripheral smear also I I got it done. So anyone, what is okay? What is the peripheral smear picture of iron deficiency anemia and what is the peripheral smear picture of megaloblastic anemia? At least one one highlighter. Can anyone tell me, Doctor Savan, Sambert, Osama, Ishrat, what Pragya? Yes, what is the peripheral blood smear finding? of a case of what do you call iron deficiency anemia what do you think anyone yes right right hmm <clears throat> yes माइक्रोसाइटिक हाइपोक्रोमिक पिक्चर आई एग्री विद यू कैन वी अप्रिशिएट टारगेट सेल्स इन इन द पेरिफ्रल ब्लड्स में हां जी सर you can say 
target cells also some book says tear drop cells also you can say and normal nor see normally what happens some my patho ma'am used to tell me that rbc may there is a central pallor right the central paleness is there and this part is little reddish this part is reddish, reddish and there is like central paleness right this one so when it is increased it's very beautiful arrow can we see that the, that the paleness is too much paleness has increased central pallor has increased so that's again a very important side of what you called uh, exactly microcytic hypochromic anemia and what in megaloblastic anemia who will tell me very beautiful megaloblastic anemia what is the important peripheral blood smear finding in a case of megaloblastic anemia who will tell me anyone megaloblastic anemia? exactly yasin very good can we have a picture here uh, not of you yasin <laughs> of this so can we appreciate a very very important megaloblastic anemia number one of course you will see macrocytic right? can we see, appreciate a macrocyte number one hyper segmented neutrophils so important hyper segmented polymorphia exactly shubham is right yasin is right very good mind blowing perfect so photographic memory guys can we appreciate this yes or no in a what is the peripheral blood smear picture of megaloblastic anemia sir hyper segmented neutrophils around five or more than five lobe are there and and macrocytic anemia sir wo to hota hi hai, right okay now we have got a question we have got a quiz okay should i ask you okay okay now let's do the mcqs the class is ending it's going to end now it's finished off so now now you have to use your brains a patient who uh, whatever investigation you told sari investigation okay the whole investigation now is in front of us let's diagnose the patient a patient having uh, what you called low retic count means the rbcs are not forming right low serum iron low ferritin and increased total iron binding capacity what do you think what is the best uh, i can appreciate in this slide so what happens anyone okay okay someone says d someone says a exactly yes the best answer is iron deficiency anemia yes or no what happens to the serum iron in iron deficiency anemia low what happens to serum ferritin low and compensatory what happens to tibc increase yes or no and iron deficiency anemia no maybe my body is not uh, like i don't have much iron in my body my my my, my hemoglobin is only four if my hemoglobin is four my retic count also kind of will be very low na? Uh, like are you understanding the if i've been bleeding too much my retic will increase if i have if i'm nothing to produce i am having bone marrow failure i am having pure red cell aplasia i am having aplastic anemia or anemia itself then i have retic to hoi gai nahi karke. are you understanding so very good answer and the first best answer i would like to write the name of the person who told yes exactly so some birth some birth has told the right answer some birth kumar mandal he told the first answer option d Chalo, next next question this one very important now think okay use brains Savan, apne gram wale, gram wale, ko thoda karein, please very good patient having low iron low tibc but high ferritin the ferritin is very high the ferritin is very high and everyone knows actually na, when the serum ferritin is very high compensatory total iron binding capacity will be low right what do you think you know and here serum iron also is low what do you think yes the best answer is very good Kisne pehle answer kiya? very good so yasin yasin has told a very good answer in a case of anemia of chronic 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 disease in chronic disease the inflammatory marker is serum ferritin so this is how the question gonna come guys in a very beautiful way we have covered this topic that you got the theory also and clinical also this is a beautiful uh, picture beautiful beautiful presentation or beautiful lecture i would say if you actually see a patient of anemia in your busy opd watch this one you will get a very good hierarchy wise uh, differentials so anemia of chronic chronic illness the inflammatory marker is serum ferritin so high ferritin and low tibc next question last question what do you think oh ho, ho, Savan. Oh, 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 he's doing nice now this is a very nice question okay well, let's think about it low serum iron normal or high ferritin normal or low tibc but the but the uh, the the highlighter i would like to mention here is esr and crp elevated see my dear friend see we all are one family okay we all are one family so you we need to you know like uh, don't get confused with the questions look for the highlighters look for the highlighter esr or crp kis mein hai? esr and crp kis mein hai? what is esr 
erythrocytic sedimentation rate. What is CRP? C reactive protein. If I have a chronic problem, then the CRP will increase. Or if I have an acute inflammatory disease, then the CRP will increase. What do you think? Anyone? Naturally, na? naturally, uh, acute infection, right? CRP and ESR are the acute phase reactant. If I have some acute problem, then definitely this will increase. So best answer is ESR and CRP elevated. Very simple, but yet very confusing also at the same time because people start reading normal or high, achha, normal or low, normal bhi hai, low, bhi hai, pata nahi answer kya iska. ESR and CRP elevated are only elevated in, uh, in uh, acute inflammatory process. So much mein yes or no? Exactly. Someone is right, CRP is better than ESR. That's another exam question in neonatal sepsis. Which one is the acute phase reactant, ESR or CRP in the neonatal sepsis? As we know, both are acute phase reactant, but CRP is a better, like CRP will be the answer uh, that you should know. Yes. Or just CR, ESR is cheap investigation. You are very high class, cheapo, cheapo, cheapo yeah so okay that that ends the whole slide so if a patient is having macrocytosis can you just please tell me if a patient mcv is imagine is more than 120 femtoliter the patient is having macrocytosis how should i how should my graph goes anyone if a patient if you saw uh, what you called uh, the patient of the peripheral blood smear picture you saw and the patient is having hyper segmented six lobe neutrophils and mcv is more than 120 liter my diagnosis goes to anyone 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 yes very good heyman says sir is your revision class an academy for fmg is enough for upcoming june exam yes dear uh, the target if you open the academy if you scroll down no uh, that target uh, uh, fmg for three days like i have taken six to seven hours of class proper there you fin there i have finished it very nicely like though you finish that one and secondly the test scroll down and whatever tests you see no like cardio test neuro test finish those tests that also is important okay so finish those tests plus the FMG wala. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what. Okay. So that's what. The, you know, you know, right? Uh, hyper segmented neutrophils and MCV more than 120. Of course, sir. I will do. I will think of megaloblastic anemia. That everyone knows. Oscar ko bhi pata hoga abhi ke bhai megaloblastic ka workup karenge. If the answer is no. They, if if the macrocytosis is there but what you called uh, like if there is no what you called mcv is not more than you know 120 femtoliter then you what do you want to do then you will do retic count okay i'll repeat again there is macrocytosis means peripheral blood smear uh, sees mcv more than 120 and hyper segmented neutrophils if it is yes then of course the picture says uh, megaloblastic anemia likely and if no that is if the answer is no then you'll get a retic count done so can you tell me if the retic count is decreased and there is macrocytosis what will you think of exactly or kis kis jagah hota hai other than megaloblastic anemia do we have any other cause of macrocytosis what do you think do we have any other cause? Yes. Have you heard of thyroid? Yes or no? Listen very carefully. If the retic count is decreased, okay, and what he called, uh, then you will get a liver function test and thyroid function test. And why, sir? Because hypothyroidism and liver disease also can show you a high a macrocytic picture. So remember, remember, okay, like not just every macrocytic is megaloblastic anemia. The take home message: it could be a case of hypothyroidism, could be a case of liver disease. Okay. I'll repeat again. So I'll repeat again. The patient had macrocytosis if the peripheral smear is showing a proper picture of megaloblastic the answer is megaloblastic everyone knows about it but if the peripheral smear is not showing a proper picture of megaloblastic anemia just macrocytosis is there then you get a retic count if the retic count is also decreased then thyroid or liver disease could be there if the retic count retic count means more and more hemolysis naturally then you will think of any hemolysis or any what you called uh, hemorrhage any hemolysis or hemorrhage and if the retic count is decreased liver and function thyroid also is normal then to bhaiya the last option the last option we have is bone marrow like bone marrow is for everything bone marrow is the end is for everything could be a aplastic anemia or red cell aplasia could be any bone marrow problem that's it that finishes today's class yes that finishes today's class i hope you have understood has everyone understood yes or no very good very good that finishes today's class thank you so much everyone for this participation tomorrow again we have a class in the night only tomorrow again 11 pm same time on the youtube channel we have a class i have started with this top 50 triads to, because many students were top 50 syndrome sorry triads class is already over uh, many students were telling about top 50 syndromes 
टॉप फिफ्टी सिंड्रोम इन पीडियाट्रिक्स पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू सो टॉप फिफ्टी सिंड्रोम इन पीडियाट्रिक्स पार्ट वन आई एम गोना टेक टूमोरो ऑन द यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम गोना शो यू टॉप फिफ्टी अमेजिंग सिंड्रोम लाइक आई आई शो यू वन पिक्चर हेमी हाइपर ट्रोफी ऑफ फिल्म देन यू विल जम्प एंड से back with vitamin syndrome back with vitamin syndrome if i say single palmer fees i'll show you then you'll say down syndrome down syndrome if i say flushed cheeks pointed chin and macro kefale you will say soto syndrome soto syndrome are you understanding yes or no that's what thank you so much everyone for this wonderful participation do like the video and uh, before leaving we have uh, this very beautiful quote which says to heal a wound to heal a wound you need to stop touching it to heal a wound you need to stop touching it so don't take regrets in life and don't hold things to your heart past is a past and uh, present is a present and future is future so live in the moment don't live in the past don't live so much in the future live in the present and present present means a gift so live in a very beautiful manner today is a gift today is a gift that's why we say it as a present okay so live in the present to heal a wound you need to stop touching it so stop with regretting stop repenting stop saying kaash aisa hota kaash waisa hota kaash main mota hota kaash main patla hota jaisa bhi hota you are born perfect you are perfect 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 you are born amazing you are amazing you will be amazing there's no doubt about it okay so be amazing to heal a wound you need to stop touching it thank you so much everyone for this wonderful participation take care bye bye and see you tomorrow night again uh, 11 pm youtube channel top 50 syndrome is a very important class part 1 part 2 i'll take on the an academy app this is the part 1 bye bye take care miss you take care tomorrow come on time okay